talking to Mr. Charles Dun Dungey, who is the uh, professor at Tennessee State University in the Department of Music and with the uh, Jazz Ensemble. Uh, Mr. Dungey, I think before we had our first uh, break, we were talking about uh, the influences uh, to uh, African American music, not only being Africa, but also Europe and other traditions and et cetera. Yes. Let's give you an opportunity during the second segment to uh, develop that as a theme. Well, um, we will sort of put everything under the heading of jazz, mm -hmm. since we that is a, an accepted term, mm -hmm. considering the art form, mm -hmm. all right? Now, the contributors were those people that were practitioners, musicians of several types. The black entity to music came from those musicians that oft times were in waif homes, such as Louis Armstrong, or uh, were in, in a, 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 an organization mm -hmm. that played marching music, marching band music. Now, the development of their skills on different instruments had to come from those people, Europeans, mm -hmm. that offered an opportunity for blacks to play these various instruments. Mm -hmm. Once the instrument was established mm -hmm. and the learning process was over, mm -hmm. of course, they started putting their input. Interpretation. Interpretation mm -hmm. of, of how they wanted the music to go, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. So it, it was a, a culmination mm -hmm. of, of different cultures mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And that's what we have to understand before we can even start thinking about mm -hmm. what developed later mm -hmm. on. Now, getting back to the African's contribution, a lot of people do not research a particular instrument, mm -hmm. the violin, mm -hmm. before Europeans introduced it in their uh, arena. Mm -hmm. Africans had a violin mm -hmm. long before the violin reached Europe. Europe. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. It started up oh, around Egypt, mm -hmm. I think, you know. Mm -hmm. But the, this shows you that it was not mm -hmm. just uh, an instrument mm -hmm. coming from a people mm -hmm. that had, you know, didn't know what they were doing in the whole business. Certainly, they knew what they were doing, but at the same time, they were helping to produce this wonderful art, mm -hmm. art form that we do call jazz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, with the development in New Orleans, jazz traveled. It went upriver. The Mississippi, the mighty Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Memphis, not so much. Not in the early days. Yeah. Chicago, Kansas City. Then we had uh, white bands that had heard what the black bands were doing, and they developed their style of jazz music and took it to New York City, Chicago, and, and, and different uh, locales in other parts of the country. So in a real sense, uh, the African-American music tradition is essentially the American music tradition. Yes, yes Which is yes, a combination is. of all of these mm -hmm. traditions and mm -hmm. all of these uh, differences. Go on and explain. Mm -hmm. Go on. Now, it is, but we have to understand that jazz is a black mm -hmm. music tradition. Mm -hmm. It started with blacks mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Then the development mm -hmm. happened when whites mm -hmm. developed, uh, um, not developed, but discovered mm -hmm. this wonderful, wonderful idea of improvisation mm -hmm. and getting musical ideas across. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in, in my jazz history class, mm -hmm. I often bring up the question for the students, mm -hmm. do you think Johann Sebastian Bach 
would have made a good jazz musician. Mm -hmm. I have gotten various answers to this, and one is Mr. Dungy, uh, he may have been a jazz musician. Mm -hmm. Thought. He might have been. Thought. He uh -huh. may have been, but mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not going to push uh, that. Okay, I'm not okay. saying that, <laughs> that okay. Clark was a jazz uh -huh. musician. Mm -hmm. But you see, jazz is a, an art form mm -hmm. not to be taken lightly. You know, one of, one of the problems that, uh, that we have uh, dealing with the uh, musical tradition from, from my own perspective, that when you talk about this period, uh, this era in American history where we talk about the era of the big bands and yes. whatnot, yes. Uh, about, about what uh, relationship existed between such personalities as uh, Glenn Miller and uh, Duke Ellington and uh, I mean, w w was there very much uh, uh, cooperation or between those kinds of bands? There was. The of segregation there was. There was a mutual admiration society mm -hmm. going on. Uh, for instance, Bix Beiderbeck was a well-known white trumpeter. Mm -hmm. He loved Louis Armstrong's playing, mm -hmm. and Louis admired Bix. Mm -hmm. In fact, they would go when if 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 the two of them were playing mm -hmm. in the same town. On intermissions, mm -hmm. Pops would go and listen to Bix, and in turn, Bix would come and listen to him, mm -hmm. you know, and they would copy each other's licks and things, and, you know, that, that was all part of it. Mm -hmm. Paul Whiteman listened uh, often mm -hmm. to Duke Ellington's music. Mm -hmm. So many people did. Mm -hmm. uh, Duke admired several bands of, of that time, mm -hmm. and, and even later on, because he spoke favorably of a lot of, of white organizations mm -hmm. that he uh, ad, uh, had ad, admiration mm -hmm. for. So yes, but, but you see here again, mm -hmm. that's how the two cultures interplay with each other. Mm -hmm. that's, that's one mm -hmm. of the, the uh, uh, points I was making mm -hmm. earlier mm -hmm. when we started this discussion, mm -hmm. that the two cultures, you mm -hmm. see, mm -hmm. had this interplay. Mm -hmm. Very good. You know, and of course, uh, Mr. Dungey, we're coming up to the second uh, commercial break uh, yes. now. And uh, I, when we come back, we'll have about uh, six minutes. Mm -hmm. And we'll give you an opportunity to uh, continue uh, this discussion. But I'm uh, simply encouraged by the uh, relationships that you're uh, bringing out between uh, the African-American music tradition and the American music tradition. And we'll be back with our audience following this short commercial break. All right. show for today.